G'day guys, here we go again, another session on the rubber. Um, weather's not quite as nice today, but cooler, a bit overcast. Maybe some rain this afternoon, early evening. But uh, one kilo is yesterday or thereabouts, and hoping for another good day. So if we get a little bit wet, who cares, as long as the boat are running. All set up. So, bottom of the tide at the moment. So, probably won't see any for another hour, maybe. But yeah, hopefully a repeat of yesterday would be nice. A few out today. We'd, we'd must have got out. There's a guy there fishing illegally. See that where that blue tarp is, that car. Right, so right there is a confluence. So the law is that you've got to be 20 metres away from that. So oh he might be actually fishing 20 metres away. He might be alright. I can't can't tell from this far away, but he could be actually fishing up a bit. Whereas tarp is if he was to fish straight in front of that, that would be illegal. But I think he's actually up is up a bit. So hmm. But yeah. Hoping for a good day. Yo I just went to go and check my neck, it's been about fifteen minutes and uh went to walk in the water and a massive shoal was right at my feet that I just scared off. Uh, hopefully they come back in. Just unfortunate timing. There they are guys, I've just reached my whiteboard. Just in the middle of the whiteboard there. Cool, and they're coming towards me, so that's good. Doing circles at the moment, in behind the board. being dead low, there's quite a bit of current here. So it'll take a couple of minutes before they go up into the net. But at least they're right in close, so that's good. Should catch them. Check I know they didn't come over, but hopefully I can walk them in. Oh, I've got there at my feet. Got a big stream in. I can't see them on the camera, but. Goes for a minute. See if we can walk up. What are they here? No, 
nothing going over the board. But anyway, I've got to check on it and get the leaves off the back. Oh, yeah, there they are. Going over. A few of them, anyway. That. But I know there's a big shoal back there, so we'll deal with this real quick. There's lift number two, it's a good shoal. There you go, guys. Not a bad start for half an hour. That river's getting a bit murky. So, a lot of rubbish coming down. So, she must be pissing down up the heads. And hopefully, that doesn't affect our white baiting too much. Hopefully, it gives them a big push and move up. Right, so literally a couple of minutes between the shelves. So, that's bloody good. Things are looking looking pretty good today. We might have a big catch. I'm not mucking around though. That water is getting filthy, guys. So, don't know how much we'll see come over the board when it's that dirty. Oh, I just saw it speak of the devils. But they're all gunning it. So, that's good. So, exactly what we want. going to be short time between lifts today. Man, this is just fire today. Constant, constant day. Guys, I am missing a ton. It's all going up out wide past me. Net. But Little bit, so. <laughs> most, of, most of it's going up the river to spawn, so it's good for next year. Or, but yeah, we're getting a little bit, so definitely can't complain. That's every five minutes, so 
looking, looking on a good catch today. Mean, mean ass. Check out that bush hole, guys. I had to work for that though, it was going wide again. So I think I'm going to pull out my whiteboard just because it creates a little bubble and they tend to want to go around it. So um, I think I'll get rid of the whiteboard and um, hopefully they hug the bank. You! Not bad for an hour. After that, I'll get a couple of kilo today if that carries on like that the whole time. Um, spotter boards are gone so I won't be able to show you them coming over but hopefully that's going to stop them going around my net fingers crossed what a day fantastic constant white bait yo Literally got five minutes between lifts. Oh yeah guys, well moving that whiteboard, pulling that whiteboard out is definitely the way to go, not the state of that, that's what I've been seeing go around me, Phew. now we're talking, just a constant stream, nice, loving it. And again, <laughs> loving this. Have to make room in the freezers or not. And it's just started to rain. Hopefully, it's not too much. Okay. 
what a day. <laughs> Nothing else to say, I'll just let it speak for itself, of course. Really fantastic. A lot of work cleaning it out later, but don't mind that. Well, with always that weather set in, so I had to take shelter under a tree. Still got a net in the water. I hadn't recorded the last couple of shoals though. But yeah, still got an hour or two of the tide, so stay tuned. Right guys, so my chilli bin, this is what I've cleaned so far, it's just filling up, it's covered up, <laughs> covered up in the ice pack and so, definitely a couple of kilos at least, so that's good, still got what's in the bucket, that's just what I've cleaned so far. And we've got another hour at least, so... Ooh. Okay guys, well, I decided to pull the pin early. Got soaking wet, frozen cold. So, I've got, a, I've got a plenty of white bait, so... We'll let the rest swim on and breed for next year. And I'll go home, get warm, and catch you there for the weigh-in. Okay guys, there's what the final catch looks like in the chilli bin. So, I will get that bagged up and get back to you for total weight. I've got a bit of work to do. Okay guys, so there's the final tally. Each one of those bags is 250 grams. So we got nine of those plus almost a full bag it's about 233 grams so we had a grand total of just under three kilos so 2.983 kg or over six and a half pound which is a new pb for me so you so okay guys cheers for watching um Stay tuned, more to come. Hopefully the white bait keeps going like it is. Kilo yesterday, three kilo today. It's on fire. Canterbury's going off. So cheers for watching. We'll see you on the next one.